Hey guys, it is time for my tea collection video! Woo! <laughs> so today I am going to show you all the teas that I have, how I organize them, and some of my favorites. So let's just jump right into it because I have a lot to show you. So first let's go into my kitchen and show you where my tea lives. So this is where my tea collection lives. Up here I have all my cups and mugs. I have one more of these. My sugar and honey and my stevia, which I don't usually use in my tea. Uh, I use honey when I'm sick, but it's mainly for when people come over and they want something to sweeten their tea. I have this thingy, which as you can see, exploded of an overload of tea. <laughs> I have another one of those tea organizer thingies, um, which has six compartments. And here I have all my loose leaf tea in um, these snap charts, what you call these in English. This is how I store most of my teas. And then beside that I also have this cabinet up here that has more tea stuff um, that is usually where my teapot goes but at the moment it is out because we're in the colder months and i make tea all the time so um this is where i keep my tea strainers my tea set some vitamins which is random some coffee pads back there um and I actually have more tea behind there, uh, just some loose leaf tea still in the package. And yeah, more strainers. And this is um, syrups I use to make my flavored moo, but I'll go into more depth on those in my kitchen tour. Okay, so let me start with the tea boxes that I have. So first is this one, which exploded. It says tea in Dutch. But um, yeah, in here I keep Pretty much all of my Austrian teas, um, tea that I get from Austria, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a German brand or Austrian, I don't know. Anyways, my take on it, which I've talked about before, um, pretty much my favorite brand of tea in the world, so I stock up when I go to Austria and then I drink it throughout the year. So, first of all, I have Oma's Früchte Geheimnis, <laughs> please excuse my German, um, it is fruit tea that tastes like, well, pretty much just um, plums and vanilla custard, kind of. It's, it's very strange, fruity, so good. This is definitely one of my favorite teas. Then I have this one, Innere Ruhe. Ruhe? German. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the one that I do not like. I won't be repurchasing this one. It has a weird floral flavor. I'm not that into floral teas. Actually, I don't like it at all. Then I have Herzkirsche, which I've talked about before. It is an amazingly good um, cherry flavored tea. I really like this one. And it is uh, cherry flavored tea without actual black tea, which is good because uh, I don't really do that well on caffeine, which you may know if you've watched my <laughs> vlogs in April. Um, I vlog every day in April, pretty much each year, so. Then I have Hola Citrone. Where it smell, uh, smells? It tastes like lemon and, oh, what's that called? Is it elderberry? No, oh God, I will write the name. I forgot how the plant's called in English, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this one is really good. It's a nice uh, summer tea, because it's really fresh and light. Then I have Winter Zauber. Oh, I cannot wait to go back and get like five boxes of these. This is so good. It tastes like uh, cinnamon and citrus. Well, the citrus is not that prominent actually. It's just a lot of fruit, like warm fruits and then cinnamon and some other spices. And it's just so good. I don't know what it is about this tea that makes it so good, but it, it, it is nothing like any other typical winter cinnamony tea. It's, it's just really, really good. Chicken Tauba <laughs> is another one of, well, my family's favorites. We drink this just by liters. Um, I think last year we brought eight boxes of this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's another one of those wintry cinnamony flavors. It has 
uh, apples on the box and rosebuds and cinnamon and yeah, some more of those kind of wintery. It's, it's not a very warm and cozy flavored tea. That's all for my take, Anna. I really, it's time to stock up again. <laughs> so um, then I have some tea that is left from my old house. Um, my roommate used to buy. I live close to a hospital, so yeah. Um, <laughs> my roommate used to buy um, all kinds of tropical flavored tea, and I accidentally brought some with me because uh, pretty much all tea was mine, so I just grabbed all tea. But there were some of hers left in there, so I have some tropical tea. I don't like this at all. I don't like tropical fruit flavored tea, but I have a few of those. Then I have cinnamon tea. My boyfriend really likes this, so I get it for him. Um, I have some cherry. Pickwick is um, a big Dutch tea brand, so I have pretty much a lot of those. I have some cherry, then I have more tropical fruits, and I have a mango. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with those, because I really don't like it. I hope that one day a guest will come by and drink it for me. <laughs> Speculas. Uh, okay, how do I describe this? Um, I think this type of um, treat goes by the name of Speculoos in other countries. I have seen it like that elsewhere, but it's a traditional Dutch cookie that is made around this time of year, um, especially around the uh, well feast of Sinterklaas. <laughs> it is made with cinnamon and just all of the cookie spices that I showed you in my last video, my um, autumn cooking video. And it just tastes like speculas, and it is really, really good. It's surprisingly good. If you're Dutch and you can get your hand on this, try it out. It's really good. Let's move on to the second one. This is going to be a long video. I'm sorry. Oh, look what I found. More take on it. I should probably switch that out. Okay, I have some uh, Frichte Tee. Just plain fruit tea. It is really good. Their fruit mixes are so amazing. So then I have more Pickwick. I have Pure Green. Strawberry and lemongrass, which I bought in the Czech Republic, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. We don't have it in the Netherlands, um, but it's really good. It has. I just like kind of lemony scents. Um, scents. I keep saying scents. Flavors. I like lemony flavors in my tea, but not too overwhelming. But lemongrass, really good, especially in combination with the strawberry. Pure green cranberry. <laughs> this is just a staple that I usually drink in university and stuff like that. Um, then I have some Turkish apple, which is... Um, it says flavored tea with apple, cinnamon and vanilla. This is black tea. Um, most of those Pickwick ones are black or green tea. I have some of these. Pro Montagna. Um, one of my friends got this from her mother-in-law who didn't like it. So she gave it to my friend who knew that I would probably like it. So yeah. Um, it is Swiss herbs from the mountains. Um, it is so good. I don't understand how like two whole families could not like it. And I'm really glad that they thought of me because I absolutely love this. Um, I believe she said it was like hand-picked or something. <clears throat> Sorry. But anyways, it's just your typical herbal tea and it is really good. It has kind of like a fresh taste to it. It's like a bit minty, but not exactly minty. I don't know how to describe it. It's just mountain herbs. Then I have some Lipton blueberry muffin tea in another triangular little bag. Um, these came out a while ago in the Netherlands. I believe two or three kinds of teas that tasted like dessert. So you had blueberry muffin, I believe there was strawberry cheesecake or was it lemon cheesecake? I don't remember but anyways the same friend that got me the other tea bought this um, and she brought it to school and everybody hated it, except for me, I loved it, so she gave it to me. It actually tastes like a blueberry muffin in tea form, so maybe it's kind of the idea that's putting people off. Okay, so let's move on to my loose leaf teas. So first of all, I have my 
Also, beloved witches brew tea. I talked about this in last year's autumn favorites. I got this at a fantasy fair from a lady that sold these handmade tea mixes and I cannot find her. I cannot find her anymore. And I love this tea so much. This must be pretty much my all time favorite tea ever. There's no tea in there, but it is just so good. Just smelling it, oh god. So yeah, I'm saving this up like crazy. I have like one cup of this in two months because I just don't want to get through this. It is so good and it is supposed to help with like menstrual pains and stuff like that. Because it has some of those plants that help with um, women's problems like that. But this is, oh. I just need to email her. I found her website last year, so maybe I should just do it. Because this is crazy. I need more of this in my life. I have, oh, this is probably my big pot of jasmine tea. Jasmine used to be my favorite for a really long time, so I got a bag of jasmine tea. Then one of my friends got me a bag of jasmine tea because she knew I love jasmine tea. And, um, yeah, so now I have a lot of jasmine tea. I still like it, but it's a bit boring compared to some of the other teas I have, so I don't drink it as much. I tend to drink this in the morning as my first kind of pick-me-up. I get most of my loose leaf teas at um, Erica, by the way, the store that I also get my shampoos from. I have um, fruit tea. It is actual little pieces of dried fruit. Tastes just like forest fruit tea without tea. It's kind of good. It, it's really good. It is um, very sweet. Then this is green tea with Japanese cherry flavor. This is a herbal mix that I got in Prague. Um, actually, I got it from a friend when I was in Prague. Really nice. I'm not sure where she got it from because it was a gift. But it's just a very nice herbal tea with some flowers in there. Kind of reminds me of those mountain herbs. Okay, so um, this one is from Erica again. It is a autumn herbal mix, I believe. Yeah, this is definitely a warm one. Has a lot of yellow herbs in there. So this is green tea with pineapple and strawberries. If I'm not mistaken, I've had it for a while. But um, yeah, this is really sweet. And I said I don't like tropical uh, fruits in tea, but this is different. This doesn't taste like that at all. One more herbal tea from Erica. This is a nighttime going to bed tea. Um, yeah, it's kind of a soothing, calming flavor. It has some little flowers in there as well. But then I have a few teas from Simon Lebel. Um, yeah, I have this one, Granny's Apple Pie. I talked about this in my last year's autumn favorites as well. Um, I didn't like it at first at all. <laughs> then I um, added some milk to it and it's really good with milk. And now I actually like it without milk as well. I guess I just had to get used to the taste of it. It doesn't taste like apple pie. It's just black tea with apple and cinnamon, I think. So then I have this one. Also from Simon Level. Um, my boyfriend's mom brought this for me from uh, Gent in Belgium. And this is so good. It's actually called The Miracle of Ghent. Um, and I don't know what's in here. I don't know how to describe it. But it is really fresh. It's like swimming pool fresh. The smell kind of reminds me of those um, herbal baths that you can get in swimming pools. It, it definitely smells like one of those kind of... Turkish uh, steam baths that you can get. But it's really good actually to drink as well. I really like this. It's definitely one of my favorite teas. I don't know if you guys remember from last year, I made that um, video about bad tasting tea. I still have it. I made a little uh, scented baggie in that video. But I still haven't used up the rest. I may actually give this another go. Now that I come, I actually had kind of forgotten about this one. I just found it. So I have three more left. These um, I got from Siobhan, who got them in New York Chinatown, I believe. Uh, thank you so much, Siobhan. I love them. So first of all, there is lemon tea. Um, I had some lemon tea, so I only opened this recently. 
and I used it to bake a cake that you had to use dried fruits in and um, kind of let them sit in very strong tea for a while and I used this and it was so good so this is some Chinese lemon tea I think it's black tea it doesn't say anything anywhere yeah black tea and lemon peel some lotus tea which is also really good I've never had lotus tea before so I really like this again it has strangely enough it tastes kind of dusty or it smells kind of dusty but it's nice I don't know it, it's very exotic to me <laughs> yeah I really like this I have this um, in the morning as well because I assume it's black tea last one is jasmine tea which I haven't opened yet since well I showed you I have a giant pot of jasmine still left but I am definitely looking forward to trying this as well so that's for all my teas my god this video is long i am so sorry um but i hope you enjoyed it anyway i want to thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon bye